Uh, I'm Brett Crockett. I'm Senior Director of Research in Dolby Laboratories in San Francisco for sound technology. Well, Dolby Labs has always been interested in loudness and solving that problem, whether it's in the cinema, for example, theatrical trailers. People know those have been too loud and we've worked on that. Um, broadcast television, we've been working on that. But with the proliferation of new formats, TVs and all your home electronics connecting to the internet, there's a lot more content that's all these different levels. And so we saw a real need for the consumer to have a brand new technology that finally solves the problem. People have been trying to solve this problem since audio existed, probably for a hundred years even. And so what we did is we took a lot of our expertise in audio and audio coding and high quality audio and came up with what we think is the world's best solution for solving your volume problems, which is Dolby Volume. So Dolby Volume is really cool in that it understands how loud audio sounds to you when you're in your living room or anytime you're listening to audio. So we have a lot of science. It's, it's kind of funny that it's a very sophisticated technology because that's what it takes for it to work well. But for the consumer, it's really easy to use. You just turn it on and you use your volume controller as you normally would, set the volume level to where you like it, and then you can just put the remote down because Dolby Volume takes over at that point. You've told it essentially with your remote control. This is how loud I want my content to be, whether it's music or movies or television programs or MP3 files. Um, and it listens, listens to the audio in real time and just maintains that. It's quite, it's quite simple. I mean, anybody can understand that. To do that well, that's the challenge. And so that's why we've been working on this for many years, probably five years now, before we've actually commercialized the technology. Um, that's what it does, and I think everybody gets that. Dolby Volume was really designed to be integrated with your volume knob. And that means anything that can come through your volume controller, your volume knob, can be made better with Dolby Volume. So a lot of people think, well, television commercials, those are annoying, or when I switch the channel. Well, it solves that problem, it solves it well, but there are a lot of other different volume discrepancy problems that people have because you have music libraries that can be very diverse, music from the 60s or 70s all the way up to modern tracks. They're often at very different levels. Dolby Volume has been designed to level out those inconsistencies in a very high quality way so that you don't hear any artifacts. Music is really difficult because it is so dynamic and has a lot of different complexities and some of the older solutions or different solutions that are in the marketplace aren't sophisticated enough to be able to actually handle that use case. You can have internet content, say YouTube streaming through your connected television set. Dolby Volume will solve that problem for you. It's also for movies too. Because Dolby Volume maintains the level of the audio where you want it, one perfectly uh, legitimate use case, it's midnight or really late at night, maybe your family's sleeping or you have neighbors and you want to watch a movie, you can actually set Dolby Volume on and then turn the volume level something low and then the explosions won't wake people up or the quiet dialogue actually will be raised up so that you can actually understand it. So it takes those volume differences in a movie, just one piece of content, not necessarily a commercial in a program, and brings it down to a level that's very uh, maintained and, and, and very easy to uh, make consistent. So we talked a little bit about Dolby Volume's leveling function. And so that's the use case that everybody gets, which is I've got different pieces of content and I want to level them out so that I have consistency of loudness. But Dolby Volume also has a feature that we call the modeler. And so the modeler is this really neat part of Dolby Volume in that when content's created, movies or music, it's mixed at what we call a reference level. And that's typically very loud. When you play something back in your home, you typically play it back at a much lower level. And when you do that, because of the way our ears work, when you turn something down, some of the more quieter sounds disappear. That You just don't hear them just because our ears uh, don't hear well at lower volume levels. So the modeler in Dolby Volume actually understands this, analyzes the audio in real time, and then as you turn something down, it will actually manipulate the audio so that all those low-level sounds, where it might be the ambience in a movie mix or even the bass guitar in songs in a music, in music, it will actually manipulate those so they sound like they did at the reference level, except that it's just quieter. 
so that the whole equalization profile is maintained and the spatial reproduction like in the surround sound mix. That's all maintained, it's just quieter, so you get that high quality reference level experience at lower volume levels. And that's unique to Dolby Volume, nobody else has that. It's actually really easy for consumers to use, that's one thing that we spend a lot of time. Instead of having a lot of arcane controls and behind the scenes menus and things like that, we designed Dolby Volume that you turn it on and then you use your volume controller just as you normally would. So you adjust the volume level to whatever setting you want so that it's the desired volume level. And then you set down that remote control and Dolby Volume from then on listens to the content as it's played back and will maintain that consistency of, of loudness or volume level. And it couldn't be any simpler than that. And so I have it in my home and the funny thing is I no longer have the remote control in my hand. I set my content level once, I put it down and then you can actually sort of sit back and relax. It's, it's sort of the perfect technology when you want to actually enjoy your content instead of work at it with your volume controller. So if you want to have Dolby Volume in your home or in your life, you can get it in a number of different places. You can get it in television sets, for example like a Tosh Toshiba Regza. You can get it in a lot of different AVRs or home receivers which can be part of your um, home theater experience. Coming soon you can get it in your cable set-top box. So Motorola is actually rolling out Motorola set-top boxes with Dolby Volume built into it. So if you don't want to buy a new TV or a new AVR or you can't get it in your cable system, there's some new technologies, some new products I should say, from people like Geffen where it's essentially an aftermarket box that you can put between your set-top box and your television set and it has Dolby Volume built in and so you can get that solution you know, just right away. So if consumers want more information on Dolby Volume, they can go to Dolby.com and we've got some interactive demos where you can actually uh, see what it's like to use Dolby Volume in the products and we also list products that are available with Dolby Volume and then you can just go to your local consumer electronics stores and pick them up.